Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Lewis King Kong Ortiz will be making his return back to the ring November 12th in Monte Carlo. Um, it will be his first fight under the new promotional deal that he recently signed with Eddie Hearn in Matchroom Boxing. Now, he's fighting Malik Scott. Um, my overall take on this fight is, you know, Malik Scott's a good heavyweight, crafty veteran. Someone who could definitely give you rounds. Um, definitely a worthy opponent in comparison to uh, Tony Thompson, a faded Tony Thompson who Lewis Ortiz fought in his last fight. Um, kind of carried throughout the course of the fight. Uh, I like this fight because, you know, when we, when we talk about Malik Scott, it's definitely a step up from Tony Thompson. You know, he beat Tony Thompson. He's beaten the likes of Alexander Le uh, Alex Lapai. Uh, he fought uh, Glasskoff, and and he and, you know he lost via split decision, but that was a very uh, close fight. Some people thought he won that fight. So with that being said, you know Luis Ortiz is is going to be in there with somebody who is coming to fight, um, quote unquote, because we know a lot of people think that uh, he took a dive against Deontay Wilder in the first round. Um, you know, that, I, that, for me, that's neither here nor there. Um, I thought he did, to be honest. Look at look at look, look at the replay, but. We'll never really know. We just, all we can do is just speculate. But um, I think it's going to build well for Luis Ortiz because, like I said, Scott's a very good, durable, uh, veteran heavyweight. But from the business side of things, right, because one thing I like about Eddie Hearn and the way he does things is he puts together great cards. Great cards, great events, and that's why you have people paying top dollar to watch uh, his fighters fight in the U.K., um, when you look at this card, right, you, you know, obviously Ortiz is fighting Malik Scott. That, that's a good fight in the main event. But you have Jason Sosa uh, defending his title, I believe it's the WBA 130-pound title against um, Stephen Smith. That, that'd be a solid fight. You got Jamie McDonald on the card, who's a good fighter. Uh, and then you have Arthur Abraham and Martin Murray, two very notable names at one, at, in the 168-pound division on the undercard. So you're going to have you know, people tuning in. Some German fans, some some UK fans, uh, just just people who, who, who like all these fighters, and I think that, I think that bodes well for Ortiz because Eddie Hearn and Matchroom do a great job putting on uh, as far as like putting on undercards that can lure people in, and you know I, I really hope kind of like Shannon Briggs UK's kind of adopted Shannon Briggs and they've embraced Shannon Briggs over there. They're very knowledgeable fans over there in the UK, and I hope that if they don't know Luis Ortiz as they get to see him, the more they learn about him, I pray that. You know, he really just be embraced because the guy, to me, when I watch him fight, he is the most skilled heavyweight in the world um, with the ability at his size to, to move around the ring, um, have great fundamentals, uh, to have power in each hand, just could do it all, man. And, and, and I want to see him get a chance to prove himself at the top level as the best heavyweight in the world, whether that's against Anthony Joshua or, or Deontay Wilder or, you know, someone like Joseph Parker coming up. I just want to see him fight someone who... Um, is, a, is 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 known as a top guy, and I think he's gonna, I think with him being with Eddie Hearn, I, that was a huge power move on his part, huge power move by Eddie Hearn to put him in position to do that. So hopefully that happens one day. Uh, but for the meantime, you know he's gonna have a, a, a tough test here in front of in front of him in release guy. You know, being that he's been out of the ring for a while, ring rust is a real thing. So uh, ho hopefully he's on his piece of cues. He can have a good performance and he can beat this guy convincingly and move on to bigger and better things. Because if there's one guy that Deserves to at least get the opportunity to prove himself at the top level. It's it's definitely Luis Ortiz, um, a guy that you know in terms of excitement. I think uh, when you, people might not not know the name, but once they see him fight, he's one of the most exciting heavyweights in the world, um, one of the most exciting fighters in the world, in my opinion. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Luis Ortiz returns to the ring November twelfth. First fight on the Matchroom Boxing deal. Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me. Or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.